Hi, it's Lance Yola, I'm Better Chief for PCMag.com, and I'm here at the Apple launch event. We're looking at new iPods, a new Apple TV, a new iOS 4, new iTunes. It is a ton of stuff. I'm actually holding the new iPod Touch. It's 15% lighter, it's thinner, it's got a front-facing camera, it's got FaceTime. There's a boatload of new stuff. It's even got that A4 chip inside, and from what I've been told, that's how they made this thing even thinner. So kind of exciting, kind of fun to play with. Let's take a look at some of the other things they've built here. The iPod has a very high market share. We've never rested on our laurels. Every year, we try to improve iPods, make them even better. Uh, oh, okay. For the person at Station four. 4, yeah. Okay. Oh. And now, so now it's dialing There you them. go, I'm dialing. It's connecting. Okay. Okay, there you go. <laughs> it's Mark. Do you guys know each other? Yes, we do. Good. Hey, how are you? <laughs> That's awesome. And then yeah, you great. Can also, you can move, you know, your preview oh, okay. wherever you want. That's you cool. You can adjust the orientation. Yeah, that's nice. It's, good. Uh, I'm good. So it is. Pretty cool, huh? It is thinner. Yeah, 15% thinner than the previous generation. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that looks pretty sharp. Yep, and you can capture uh, each And I video. can resume, I can touch to go back to... This is the new iPod Nano. bit like the old shuffle but it's all screen and actually it's got a screen that's very familiar to anyone who knows an iPod it's all multi-touch what button do you hit to go back to your home what's the so you can either um, scroll backwards or if you're in let's say your, uh, in audiobooks if you just click and hold it'll eventually go back okay This is the new Apple TV. It's tiny. Look at it. I'm going to pick it up just a little bit. See that? That's the aluminum remote control. But kings have a need of the sun. Dangerous. Rise and rise again. Until dawn has become quiet. Before the day is finished. Robin Hood isn't out yet, so like, the DVDs are available. That's the
designer, what's awesome about Game Center is that all the social integration is done for us. So I'll be playing this massive brutish titan here. Donald's going to be playing this wimpy little knight. <laughs> you can see the character detail is amazing. We're using the same lighting and motion capture animation techniques you see in Takasuchi films. I purchased the song, you can see that. Uh, I've commented on Jack Johnson's photos. And so all the activity that I've done is available for my circle of friends or my family or if I want to, anybody. Up and change it, and then this is uh, the kind of music that I like. So what you can do is, you know, add something. If I wanted to add, let's say, Coldplay right here, um, it'll look through this store, and I can pick. Well, if I can spell. <laughs> So I'll add uh, speed of sound up there. And then this is where you manage the privacy, where you can say... What, what's the tie-in with Facebook? So is it also to posting to things there as well, not or posting, just only just pull friends? Just pull friends, exactly, right. And then you can say, I want people, anyone to follow me, or I want to approve who follows me. Or I want to see the different music that's associated with the same album. Mm -hmm. Play with that music as well. Um, and really, the best part is, though, being able to kind of jump in and see what your social graph is doing as well. So Monica's enjoying hanging out listening to Lady Annabellum. She's got a friend Jonathan that likes a song that's now you know, being shared with her. One of Monica's friends, Farman, also commented on Jonathan. So Lady Gaga, of course Coldblood, you should expect that if you saw them. <laughs> Thank you. 